All right, so this is Rob. He's a, a friend of mine now. He's been a patient for about three years, and I just asked him to do an interview for me to talk a little bit about what brought him in. So, Rob, what brought you in? Yeah, so I had uh, been undergoing antibiotic-based treatment for Lyme disease, uh, but they would not give it the official title of Lyme disease, so I had to sign a massive set of waivers, and then I went under an antibiotic treatment for about a year and a half, and I would go through big peaks and valleys of feeling good to feeling absolutely awful. And at the end of it, I had a pick line inserted in my arm, uh, dosing myself directly to my heart, which uh, was becoming, which would occasionally get infected. And, uh, and again, it was just a temporary fix every single time to feel just a little bit better. But uh, when I was a highly athletic person involved, I was uh, working as a law enforcement officer at the time, uh, I was unable to uh, perform those duties just from the massive fatigue, depression, and brain fog that was really uh, just ending my day. Beginning and ending my day, I just could not uh, get through. So when he came in, you know, he just talked to me, he was referred by a, another patient, and he said, I don't know what to do, I don't know where to go. Um, he goes, I think I have Lyme disease, that's what I've been told. Uh, his doctors were unable to give him a definitive answer because Lyme is a difficult thing to diagnose. It's more of a clinical diagnosis. Um, so Rob, where are you at today? So um, I'm uh, three years post uh, getting uh, completing treatment with you. And, uh, and now I'm back to normal activities. Uh, I no longer uh, have depression. I no longer have uh, flu-like symptoms approximately once a month. Uh, my energy level has returned. I can do pretty much anything I was doing before ever getting sick. Uh, and I was, and uh, it was a tick bite, uh, of course, uh, which is what got me sick. I can pinpoint the time, place, and location of the tick bite. But today, everything's normal. Um, I was left with some food allergies um, after it ravaged my body. So things are good. You know, we've been able to work with him, and that's why he's in here today. Um, still do a little bit of chiropractic work, make sure we keep his body healthy. But uh, we haven't done any, any kind of other treatment in several years. So he's been pretty symptom free. So Rob, if you had one thing you wanted to tell people that were out there that are searching that have this going on, what would you say? I'd say uh, don't give up on uh, treatments because that's where I was. I had given up and the friend that brought me in had said, you know, there's, you, you need to continue trying. There's one more thing to try. I mean, my words to uh, the doctor that was treating me at the time was, well, can I at least make it to my, all three of my kids to graduate high school before I die? And uh, because it, it just, I didn't feel like going through any of it anymore, but I wanted to see them to their next phase of life. Uh, and I'd say, don't quit, don't give up. Um, yes, it hurts, it sucks, it is, uh, people will not understand when you tell them how bad you feel. Um, seek out another form of treatment. For me, the answer was uh, working with uh, Dr. Javen and getting that type of treatment. Uh, albeit um, some of the uh, treatment tasted terrible, uh, <laughs> but uh, I, he actually had to hold me back uh, from how well I felt after just uh, a few weeks of treatment, uh, about a month and a half, um, I was telling him how good I was feeling and because my body had gone through so much, he had to actually hold me back from getting back into CrossFit and <laughs> bike riding and, and other uh, big intense workouts that I'd missed for over a year. So. Don't give up. Keep trying. And what I just said is why I still get to see him every now and then. <laughs> yes. I, uh, a pro uh, being discharged, I immediately went out and uh, was doing CrossFit for a few months and, uh, and was on my second CrossFit workout of the day and uh, hurt my back. So the only pain I have now is the one I self-inflicted. Well, thanks, Rob. Thank you.